Now you may have seen that ChatGPT has come out with the ability to actually create your own apps or GPTs. Now there's already massive directories of these things that have thousands, hundreds of GPTs that are customized for different purposes. And to be honest, it is just too hard to wade through those and I don't see any way that that's going to be useful. But I think these are going to be very, very useful when it comes to those repetitive things that you do all the time. So I want to show you in this video how we can actually create one of these GPTs and why you might want to consider doing that within your company or within your own organization, because this is where the usefulness of customization can come into play. I don't think it's that useful to um, use these more generic ones. I think it really shines when we're able to have something that's customized for either our use or organization's use. Hi, I'm Prophecy. And I talk about generative AI, its use in business and education, and its impact on society. And today I want to show you how you can create one of these GPTs. Now you have had the ability for some time to actually give some custom instructions to ChatGPT. So some certain things that it would like to know, or you'd like it to know rather, about how it can provide better responses. So for example, I might say I'm a professor, I want things written in a very academic style, I would like it to search for academic references rather than popular references, so on and so forth. But what I might want to do is have something that's more customized for the different types of queries that I want to do. And this is where these GPTs come into play. So when I click here under My GPTs, you'll see that I have some that I have used recently or played with. And you'll see that there's some that are listed here that are actually from OpenAI. And so these are ones that they have developed. And there's lots and lots of them. As I said, you can also find them out on the open web as well. There's various directories of these. Some people are thinking they're going to get rich off these, uh, making these new GPTs, but I don't think so. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually click up here. I am using the paid version of ChatGPT, so you have to do that in order to be able to create these My GPTs. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to say create a GPT. Now, this GPT uh, builder will help us actually figure out what we want to make. And in my case, I want to make a funny memo that's going to go to an administrator every time I make a request as a lowly faculty member. Now, I happen to know that there's a book written called Dear Committee Members. It's extremely sarcastic. And this is exactly what it does, is it has a series of memos that were written in a very sarcastic way that are from some lowly professor asking for some resource or some um, something for their students, so forth and so on. So I want to write in that style. So this is a fairly easy thing to do. I could prompt it to write in that style uh, by just simply saying, hey, can you please write this memo for me? Give it some details about the memo and then say, I want it to be in the style of the writing from dear committee members and maybe include the author's information as well. So in this case, I'm going to come in here, create a new GPT. I'm going to click on create and I'm going to say, I would like you to cre create memos from a faculty member to administrators in the style of the book Dear Committee Members by Julie Schumacher. Okay, so I pasted that in there so I could spell her name correctly. So we're going to tell it to do that. And then we will actually see how this works out. So we could obviously have something much more detailed. Uh, so there's ones that will uh, include all sorts of additional information. We can come over here as well and we can configure this to name the GPT. And uh, you'll notice here, here's the detailed instructions. Okay, and so it has all this information in here that I didn't have to write. So we're actually using GPT, ChatGPT, to write a ChatGPT. 
So that's another thing you may not be aware of. You can actually use ChatGPT to write your prompts for you and it can help you get started. It's also very interesting when you start to say, hey, write a prompt for mid journey for me. So that's a, a way that you can do that. So I'm gonna call this one Dear Committee. Okay, and uh, we can preview it here. So let's try it out. So write a memo about a funding request, write a memo to my department chair asking for money to purchase a new box of pencils. Something ridiculous here. So it fills in who it thinks the department chair is because I did not provide that information. And it's writing, I hope this memo finds you well and not too buried under the avalanche of end of the semester paperwork. Very good. We're actually at the end of the semester. I am writing to you today with a request that while seemingly modest, I believe is essential to the continued success of our department's educational mission, a new box of pencils. Now, I know what you're thinking in this digital age. Are pencils still relevant? Let me assure you they are as vital as ever, so forth and so on. So um, I think this uh, is exactly the kind of thing I need to make my reinvigorate me for another year or two of working in academia. I think this one is worth saving and worth sharing. And so I tell you what, I'm going to uh, share this out. I will provide the link down below, but it's just that easy. And I would say any prompt that you end up doing more than one or two times, you should really start to think about putting together one of these GPTs. Also, if you do happen to be a faculty member, think about actually doing this for your students. So how can you put in a prompt to help them check their work against a particular assignment? So you could actually give it a rubric, you could give it all sorts of information about your instructions for the assignment, and then you could have a custom GPT that your students could actually upload their assignment and kind of get things pre-checked. Okay, test it out, see if it works. I think these are interesting tools. I think once again, they're gonna be something we use internally. There's not gonna be an app store that we're gonna go buy these things on. I just think that's a very wrong prediction. And I think it's just simply not gonna happen no matter how many people want it to happen. Of course, everybody's regretting not getting in early in the early app store days for Apple and for Google, right? So they're seeing that, oh, maybe I can get in early now. That's why you're seeing these huge directories of GPTs, but it's just too much to sort through uh, when you can make your own that quickly. Thank you for watching. And if you have gotten to the end of one of my videos, remember you are part of an elite crowd and you should definitely subscribe.